Welcome to Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. It's an NBA Monday night on ESPN and EA Sports as we get set for a Central Division matchup between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Chicago Bulls. As this one gets underway, what's the game plan here for the Cavs? I love the championship pedigree of Pau Gasol, a two-time NBA champion. Remember, the Lakers were stuck in mediocrityville before they got Pau Gasol for their championship run. Even with Kobe Bryant, even with Andrew Bynum, they were stuck in a low 40s winning area. Gasol comes, championships follow. I think the same could happen here in Chicago. I think they have every ingredient to be a championship team. Great to see Kevin Love back in Cleveland. It was killing him to be on the sidelines during that playoff run last year, Jeff. He's going to be a huge bonus this season. Exactly. Particularly when you miss due to injury, Mike, and he had sacrificed so much role-wise. And again, his ability to shoot long range, to post, and to offensive rebound, that combination is really difficult to find. Number 20, Tony Snell. James against Dunleavy. There's the double team. James on the drive, puts it up for two. Gibson, the rebound. He's averaging six boards per game this season. Rose against Irving. Gets past the defense. Nice. To the rim. Rose is rejected. Love's looking to do damage in the paint. Whistle for the foul in the act of shooting. So a couple of free throws coming up. We all know the things we wish he might have done differently when he decided to go Miami, from the decision to the celebration. But no one can take away from him being already a top 10 player in NBA history. This guy is going to be at the top of the top when you talk about the stars of stars in our league. This guy is one of the rare treats we've been able to see in NBA history. Rose against Irving. Terrific block by Love. James gets that one to drop. He's among the league leaders in scoring this season. The assist from number 13, Tristan Thompson. Rose on the drive. Dunleavy's trying for low post position. Gasol looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team. Dunleavy from downtown with two remaining on the clock. Love bringing it up here. Irving against Rose. Cleveland Cavaliers having another great season, Jeff. You know, as long as LeBron James is on that roster, they have a chance at a title. Absolutely. You saw it last year. Even without Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love, they took the Golden State Warriors to six games. He didn't play efficiently, but he played unbelievably well in that final series. And with him, his team will always be a favorite to win a championship. Gibson's looking to set up in the paint. Rose, Byers, quick rebound by Thompson. To the rim, not able to score. Another good quality attempt at the basket. Unfortunately, they missed it. Blows past his man. Rose, fires yet again. Not that time. Poise and precision will get you a better quality shot than that. That's a bailout shot. That's a, I'm gonna try to get us back in and be a hero type of shot. 
Boy, there's some incredible point guards these days in the NBA, Jeff. And you look at a guy like Kyrie Irving. Is anybody a better ball handler? Now, listen, he is a special, special player. Uh, when he's at the top of the floor, either in transition, one-on-one, -on -one, or in the high pick and roll. The guy has a unique handle. He can get to any spot on the floor he wants. And his greatness has been obscured prior to LeBron James coming back to Cleveland because he wasn't playing in any meaningful game. Now, because of James and Kevin Love being there, they're playing in meaningful games, and we're getting to see all of his talents come to the forefront. Love against Gibson. Fires away for two and misses his first shot tonight. And that's a tough shot right there. Solid team defense forcing the miss. It'll count if it goes. And that's it for the first quarter. Cleveland's up by five. We'll be right back with more Monday Night Basketball. As the second period gets underway, very low scoring start to this game. That was some ugly offensive basketball in that opening period. Well, they just missed some very makeable shots. Good looks by both teams, good execution, just missed quality looks. Snell against Jumpert. Snell from way downtown. Misses from the perimeter. Chicago's just not set the right tone defensively. They're getting absolutely obliterated on that end of the floor. Jeff, the Bulls you know are going to be right there fighting night in and night out. If Derrick Rose stays healthy, they certainly have a chance to compete for a championship, don't they? Absolutely. The Eastern Conference is wide open. It really is. And Derrick Rose, we can forget, Mike, how good he was pre-knee injuries. The Bulls, with their talent level, they have a chance. Gets it to go. Pretty hook shot. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense. Good offense won out that time. Turnover forced by Noah. Rose against Irving. Rose for two, puts it up. And Derrick Rose with the bucket. He's averaging 17 points per game this season. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. to put it up, the shot clock running down, knocks down the shot, and it's a three-point lead for the Cavaliers. The Bulls a perfect example of you're going to have your ups and downs night in and night out offensively, but if you play defense with that type of commitment, with that type of passion, you're in every game. Absolutely. The misnomer is that defense wins championships, but when you're going through and absorbing the injuries the Bulls have had the last couple years, you have to try to stay in games by playing tough as nails defense. And that's exactly the formula the Bulls use to play with great, great success. Rose against Williams. Oh, quick move gets inside. Knocks it down. Chicago's shooting 40% from the field. That's just a nice layup right there. the rim and Mo Williams with a nice play that's nice body control right there on that lap good finish the two defenders converge McDermott for two unable to flip it in and they got the ball right at the basket and just missed so the basket flips it up draws the foul it's called against Dunleavy and J.R. Smith will go to the line with under two minutes to go here in the first half. Hey, you can't allow easy baskets. You've got to foul these bad free throw shooters, put them to the line, and see if they can earn their points at the charity strike. 
Remember last season, Jeff? First time NBA history, Powell and Marcus Gasol, the first brothers to start in the All-Star game. There are a lot of differences in those two brothers, but they have some similar characteristics as well. Agree. Both are terrific passers. Both can finish with either hand, and they both, with different body types, rebound the basketball. And oh, by the way, we'll probably see both in the Naismith Hall of Fame. Shepard, that's a two. Gets to the rim. The Bulls with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Out of bounds. Whistle sounds. It'll be Cavs ball. Cleveland's making a few personnel changes here. One minute remaining in the second quarter. James fires away. And LeBron James with a nice shot for two. He's among the league leaders in scoring this season. Loses the control. Ball comes loose and goes out of bounds. They double him. Shoots for three. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. James against Dunleavy to the basket. Gets it to go. Plus the foul. And a foul is called against Rose. Picks up his first person. Terrific concentration to finish the shot and now shoot a free throw. Kyrie Irving to the line, shooting one. Knocks down the free throw, and that completes the three-point play. Oh, he beats the defender. Ball loose again, stolen by Irving. alley -oop. Oh, he puts it down. What a beautiful pass. The assist from number zero, Kevin Love. Shoots the three. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a new 24. It'll count if it goes. That's it for the first half. Cleveland's up by 11. Stay tuned for more Monday Night NBA presented by ESPN on EA Sports. Welcome back to the Quicken Loans Arena for the second half, which is just about underway. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Cleveland's got to be excited with how they played in that first half, Jeff. Some excellent offense, strong defense. What's the key in the second half? Well-balanced game in that first half, and they've just got to continue on with that same mental approach. Play both in, play every possession. Puts it in, and the foul call against Irving. That'll be his first. Absorbs the contact, finishes the shot, and now works his way to the free throw line. To the line for one. Jeff Smith won the NBA Sixth Man of the Year Award with the Knicks 2013. First Nick to win the award since your guy, John Starks, in 97. When Smith is right, he's a heck of a player. He is. Oftentimes we focus on his antics versus his game. But when he is playing at his high point, he's obviously a dynamic shot maker. But he's also a good passer. And I think that gets overlooked. This guy's a good NBA player. Unfortunately, we don't talk enough about his game. Snell against Smith. Adjusting in the air. There's the whistle. Nice job drawing the foul. And Cal Gasol will get to shoot free throws for the first time in the game. Good offense is about getting your best players their best shots in their best spots. Here, an aggressive move. You're a great free throw shooter. Earn your way to the free throw line. Take the contact. 
take the foul, work your way there, and knock him in. Irving bringing it up. Love against Gibson, gets in the paint. Jeff, I know you're a big movie guy. This past offseason, LeBron James acted in some movies. Is he a better actor than a player? Well, his opponents would say he acts on the floor with some of his spots, but he's got another profession he's going to be good at. Mike, and doesn't it somewhat make you sick to your stomach that one guy is so good at so many different things? <laughs> It up, misses, and hey, you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket, you got to put the ball in the hole. Puts it in, and J.R. Smith with 10 points. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup for the layup, rebound snatched by Irving. Reverses, and Derek Rose with a two pointer. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Irving against Rose. Jeff, I didn't know that Love's middle name, Wesley, was in honor of former NBA star Wes Unsell. He's a family friend. And Unsell, just like Love, a big guy who can rebound and throw great outlet passes. Well, that's what gets overlooked a lot of times with Love and his shooting and his rebounding sort of dominate the conversation. But those outlet passes that he throws, those pinpoint passes, does remind you a little bit of Wes Unsell, who was by far the best of all time at the outlet pass. Yeah, that one's worth seeing again. Here's the replay. Three minutes gone by in the third. The Cavs up by 10. Irving against Rose. Curls in. It's good. And one. He got there late. The foul called against Gibson. And Yvonne Shumpert will go to the line for the first time tonight, looking to complete the three-point play. In your face, disgrace. A big-time flush and dunk. And the foul. And that's his fifth rebound of the game. In the paint, able to put it in. And Derrick Rose with 15 points. Jeff, we've talked so much about LeBron James, the championships, the MVPs, the incredible numbers. Sometimes we forget he's just a great team player. Who, Mike? Who <laughs> LeBron James? I haven't heard of him. We haven't talked about him very often, have we, over the last decade or so that we talk about him on every broadcast, whether he's playing or not? Listen, the crux of this guy is this. He's a global brand, but at heart, he's all about the team. on the drive and he throws it down who's got basketball courage we'll find out when this guy's driving down the lane full speed do you stand in front hold your ground or do you slide out of the way who's got basketball courage the songs looking for position in the paint mcdermott from downtown in the corner throws it up high puts it up nice finish around the rim 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. The Cavaliers up by 14. Rose for two, shoots away. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for another possession. Tries the reverse layup, and Pau Gasol with a nice look, sinks it. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You gotta protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Irving jump shot, that's good for two.
jump shot. Puts it in. His foot just on the line. A two-pointer. At the buzzer. And the third quarter comes to an end. The Cavs up by 12. Stay tuned for more Monday Night NBA presented by ESPN after. It's been an impressive performance as we begin the fourth, but they still have some work to do to get this home win. They do, but if they continue to grind the possessions out, they'll be fine. They've played very good basketball up until this point. Expect them to continue. Williams against Rose. He shoots. Shot won't go. you got to figure out how you can get a better quality shot and use your greatness to attract the second defender and find the open man. Jeff, earlier we talked about LeBron James. One thing we forget, he just loves to play. And that's what it comes down to, Mike. This can be a very boring profession if you don't love the game of basketball. And people out there, fans say, what do you mean if they don't love it? Listen, not every NBA basketball player loves the process and the lifestyle that comes with being an NBA player. They don't love the game. They love what the game brings them. They don't love the game of basketball itself. James does love it. And that's why, to me, he's been able to maintain such a high standard of play over the course of his career. Here's the Eurostep. Oh, that's a beauty. Throws it down. What a play. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Inside. Can't bring it home. Getting the ball to the rim is so important to winning basketball. Great offense, great look. Just couldn't knock it in. And we have a substitution here. Subbing in for Cleveland, number 13, Kristen Thompson. To the reverse, it's good. And Mike Dunleavy with his first field goal. The assist from number three, Doug McDermott. Williams against Rose. Goes to the goal. And we have a foul called against Miritich. That's his first. Cleveland shooting 66% from the line. First free throw, perfect. And he makes them both. Rose jump shot. The Bulls with control on the rebound. Puts it in, a two-pointer. Chicago's shooting 41% from the field. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense won out that time. Rose on the drive to the rim, up and in. What a play from Derrick Rose. A good look for two. James's attempt won't go. I like it. I, I'm seeing more effort in the last couple minutes than we saw in the first half. It may not result in a win here tonight, but the effort is something they can build on going forward. Gets a good look. Misses. Pretty move into the paint. Takes the three. Shot from way outside, no good. We're seeing some outstanding defensive work, forcing the offensive team into late shot clock shots, which are very low percentage. Throws it down, what a play. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. The 
drive. Great offensive rebound. James against McDermott. Oh, his foot's on the line. What a costly turnover. I just don't like when teams start playing the score instead of the game. Here, playing with the lead, getting careless, making an unforced turnover, stepping out of bounds. Inside, flips it up, shot won't go. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look, he just missed it. Oh, what a costly turnover. What was he thinking on that play? Who was he trying to pass to? As we wind down this game, timeout called here on the fourth. Hey, it doesn't look good, but you got to give yourself a chance to win. Last minute of the game, come out of the timeout, get a quick score or get yourself to the free throw line, and then try to knock the ball loose with your pressure defense. And he puts it down. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. No choice there. They had to stop the clock, and they give the foul. Half a minute remains in the game. Cleveland's up by seven. No doubt about it. Whistle blows a foul called against the Bulls. That last foul means they're in the penalty, so it's time for free throws. with 15 points. There's a one second differential between the game clock and shot clock. Rose against Urban. Oh, quick move, gets inside. Swats that one away. That kind of play, Mike, makes a statement. The ref blows the whistle, he's got a foul. And Taj Gibson will go to the free throw line. He connects on the first free throw. Able to convert on both free throws. Inside to the basket. Oh, what a move from LeBron James. The assist from number two, Kyrie Irving. To the basket. Oh, nice touch from Derrick Rose. Double team closing in. Knocks it down. Beautiful shot from LeBron James. And time's run out in this one. The final score is 57 to 47. For Jeff